Do you have a piece of solid wood furniture that you'd like to restore back to its original natural finish but aren't sure if you should strip or sand? Hi friends, I'm Jamie from so much better with age.com. I'm dedicated to helping you create a beautiful life with easy to follow DIY projects, home decorating, organization, and a little bit of life advice along the way. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the difference between sanding and stripping and when you should use each technique. I almost always use a sander if I want to remove paint or stain from a solid wood furniture piece, but I wanted to see if paint stripper would be easier to get down to the natural wood finish. You'll want to make sure to use paint stripper in a well ventilated area and to put down a plastic drop sheet underneath the piece of furniture. Make sure to use disposable or chemical gloves. I applied a thick coating of paint stripper to a painted wooden chair using a chip brush. You wait about 10 to 15 minutes and scrape the paint off with a putty knife. You can use a can or a plastic container to scrape the paint into. The paint on this seat came off relatively easy, but the rest was extremely hard to get off. The reasons I think it was so difficult, one, there was two coats of old acrylic paint on the chair. Two, I probably needed a stronger paint stripper. This wasn't my usual paint remover. Three, there was way too many angles to remove paint from this chair. After the majority of the paint was stripped off, I even tried using steel wool with paint thinner to remove the paint, but it didn't work. In the end, I had to sand this entire chair down to get it to its natural finish, and I probably could have skipped the paint stripper part and sanded it only. Because there was residue left over from the paint remover, it made sanding it even harder as it would gum up the sander. I would only use paint stripper on the top of a piece of furniture, like a tabletop or dresser top. That works out well, especially if you are leaving the top natural wood finish, stained or sealed, and the rest of it painted. It's a large flat surface that would be easy to scrape off with a putty knife. If you have angles or ornate details, sanding is best. And you can use different sanders for different areas. I have a mouse black and decker that has a nice angle on the top, and you can also use a Dremel sanding tool. You can see how we sanded this massive armoire down to its natural finish, then finished it with a white wax. After sanding this chair down, I waxed it with white wax to give it a nice vintage look, just like the armoire, and to also get rid of some of the oranginess of the oak wood. Once your piece of furniture is completely free of stain or paint, you are free to stain it a different color or wax it or seal it with a polyurethane. You'll have to do something to it as the oils from your hands and dirt will make the furniture look dingy over time. For more inspiration, be sure to check out my other DIY videos and head to my blog, somuchbetterwithage.com, for more tutorials. You can also find 70 more projects in my book, French Vintage Decor.